No, don't leave yet. Okay, so Reed, then me, and then T Bear, and then Evil Muffin. Evil Muffin. Go, Luda, go, go, Luda, go. You must get to the. Point. Okay. Light and field traffic, clear. Uh, did you ever watch uh, Wander Over Yonder? Uh, I saw a couple oh, episodes, oh, I think. Oh. I, I didn't really, uh, right out lot, watch TV. Right out the parking. Right out the parking lot, and then your first left, and then the next left. Okay, I think I know where they're going. I think they're I think they're coming down here. So right trying. out, first left. And the next left. They're sort of doing a loop of the town. Yep. Come on, Kenworth, let's go. There you go, that's a good truck. Alright, I need to I need to hook up quick. <laughs> but I'm I'm pretty good at doing that with heavy hauls, so I should be okay. Pilot takes a second left in about two hundred feet. Get it. Snag it. Down into first. There's a barrier right there. Don't hit that. <clears throat> that would be advised. After second left past gas station, There's a back row right the there. Don't hit that either. Actually, no, that's a front loader. That's a paid loader. Hey, have a good convoy, y'all. Oh, what? Oh, it's just off the kingpin, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. You can have fun with all that. I'm gonna just sit over here and uh, okay. listen. <laughs> I'm getting this thing hooked up. Get on there. Yes, got it. Entering I-17 now. Left over bridge. Left over bridge. Left over bridge. Okay. Uh, so shoot. that means, so that means they're heading over towards Flagstaff. Left over bridge. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, you got about half the convoy on I-17 at this point. Well, I'm out of my location, and I am pedal to the metal over towards the bridge. But I got 18,000 pounds of this? Yeah, 118,000. Oh, I, I think I see the tail of the convoy. Just say it out in the chat or over the mic. Left, last truck just made the left. They're all on the highway. Yep, I just watched the last truck make the left. Oh, there you are. <laughs> but. Excuse me. Alright, I'm hitting up the rear of this convoy. So why did you need a load to wreck their convoy? I didn't need a load to wreck their convoy. I wanted to blend in. Uh -huh. Hang on, I might have to come watch. I'm just going to make sure I don't join in because I said something to them earlier. I don't want to be like, hey, have a good convoy and then come and help wreck it. <laughs> Like, right. that, that's just too dick of a move, even for me. Oh, I forgot how heavy this freaking lift truck chassis is. I should've went with the bulldozer. You should've went with, like, something, like, light to begin with. Like, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I don't know either. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I keep saying I'm gonna do, um, highlights videos and then keep not. And it's really, yeah. it, it's not because I'm being late, well, one of them was, I don't remember which one of them. Um, but most of it's just because I need more content. I don't have enough time to record enough content to be able to do highlights videos. I still gotta go through that four hours that you posted and do the highlights for that. Uh, great. What, 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 what four hours was that? Uh, after oh, the, the one that I did in seven parts? Yeah. You still haven't come through that yet? I have not had time. I just have not had the time. You're still on 17, right? Yeah, I'm still on 17. I just passed a truck that pulled over on the right. I think he was part of the convoy and then dropped out for some reason. 10 4. How fast are you going? Uh, 63. All right, I should catch up to you pretty quick. All right, I see your truck. Like, the one you passed, I mean. Yeah, he was in the convoy. Yeah, that's what I thought. He must have dropped down for some reason. Roll in 62 and 15th, going up into 16th now that I'm over the hills. But yeah, like, my last video that I have is going up tomorrow, so I'm going to need to use everything content. from this session. 
you know, I won't well, be able to make highlights with this one. Convoy that I think we'll have a lot of people. Of course, we need to still talk to Rainbow about planning that one we're going to do, but that's for his channel, so. Right. And he has over 200 subscribers, so that might go get us both a little bit of uh, recognition. Hello. Hello. Oh, I forgot my. I have my horn button disabled on my wheel. It was doing weird things. Uh, another. This guy was in the convoy. I remember the transformer being in the convoy. Oh wait, no, that's forklift. He wasn't. It looked like a transformer from the back. You know, I'm gonna go up and uh, look at the castle. All right. Then the five people who watch my videos can see it in case they haven't. <laughs> also, yeah, still rolling 60 frames. If I remember, I might do a little bit of editing on this video and put in the truck that this is supposed to be from HBO. Gotcha. But I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. <laughs> Man, now, this thing is stupid weighing me down. I'm barely getting above 60 on these hills. I can't wait for Special Transport to come out. Oh, I can't wait either. I'm going to be on this game so much. Of course, unfortunately, the uh, ETS2 Special Transport still isn't multiplayer compatible, so you probably won't be able to pull your special trailer in multiplayer. I'll figure something out. It's just stupid. Like... All you gotta do is disable the escorts, like... Which people have already done in mods. Exactly, so why can't they just do that for multiplayer? But at the moment, if you just even put the trailer on, you get kicked. I think it's because of just how wide they are, and they're worried about people using them to grief. We'll see. Well, plus, if you're stuck on a two-lane back hop, and... Back hop? Gotta... Yeah, that's what they call a back road. I've never Wait, heard that. Maybe it's just because I've watched Smokey and the Bandit too many times. They definitely never said back hop. Yes, they did. They did not. Yes, they did. They didn't. Yes, they did. I'm going to look it up right now. You go do that. Which means my video is probably going to be bouncy. Never. This part I might cut out if we don't argue too much. <laughs> I can't remember. It was some. It was somewhere around where Bandit got off because of something, and he said, and he told Snowman that he was a two-lane back. Black top. He said black top. Black. I've always heard back hop. No, like I looked up back hop meaning, and there's literally nothing. Apparently, there's someone whose name is Black Hop. There's back hop though. But yeah, he says black top. It's always sounded like back hop to me. It's always I've been always... black top. <laughs> that sucks. I'm surprised you call you're just calling me out on this because I've said back hop like four times in I always to a two lane road. I always heard you say black top. Hmm. I think oh, probably Evil Muffin. what? Evil Muffin. He was one of the guys in the uh, convoy. I think yeah, he, he just was... uh, he just blew past me, uh, Bob Talon. Um, but yeah, I think that probably part of why I got it so quickly is because back in great back in uh, primary school, uh, the at my the first school I went to, we had the playground area, but then we had a uh, just a pad of asphalt that had like the fifty states on it and probably like a big tic tac toe board and various oh, things like that, and we right. called that a blacktop. That's what we called. It. Yeah, you called it the blacktop. Yeah. Yeah, we we had something similar. Yeah, so I just automatically knew he was saying blacktop because that's what asphalt is. It's a blacktop. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it always just made sense to me. He was on a back road, and I don't know. It just so it always made sense in my hot my hide in my mind. <laughs> like, well, see that yeah. that's where that's why you kept thinking it was blacktop. You were thinking with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Have you griefed them yet? Like, seriously. 
No, I I could not catch up with them, so I'm just taking my load to where it's supposed to be going. I think it's Camp Verde. Uh, you already passed Camp Verde. No, it's Hall. No, it's Hallbrook. All right, I'll meet you over there then. All right. I'm just gonna have fun. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to be one of the. There was somebody in there with a transformer. I wanted to be another heavy haul in the group, but. What What exactly were you planning on doing? Just rolling. Just rolling and see what would happen. Just some random guy pulls up in the middle of the convoy and just joins in and be, and be like, hey. Wow. Best troll ever. I wasn't really going to troll. I just said <laughs> that because I couldn't think of anything. So shut up. I will not shut up. Shut your mouth with your effing words. <laughs> yeah. Shut up with your fucking words. Oh, I should probably shift up. I think I was just buzzing the limiter. Yes, yes, I was. I just had a quick panic and looked over at OBS like, I really hope my audio level is set right. <laughs> oh, Christ. I never want to ever have to subtitle another video. <laughs> I told you, it sucks. It does. I didn't doubt you. It sucks so yeah. bad. That is why that one that we did, I still haven't fixed. I know. I I hate subtitling that much. It literally, it literally, it literally took me like six hours to edit that first half of uh, Mud Runner, that Mud Runner video. I I told you, it sucks so much. Speaking of which, did you actually watch that? Yes, I watched all the parts. Did you pay attention to the subtitles in the first part? Yes, I did. Because there was there was one part that I put something funny in. I don't know what it was. There were a couple of parts where you put something funny in. Were there more than one? Wait, it, it was like... Because you were talking about going slow and steady. And you said it twice, and the second time you were like, like I said. And then you said the same thing again. So in the subtitle I put, like I said, not pay attention to friend at all. <laughs> 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 or something like that. Yeah, I, mean, I think I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, fig I figured you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, that's about how quiet I am in the video that I made that I have to subtitle. Except for when, like, I'm in the cab of the truck because the game volume uh, around me is just too much. Right. Uh, did you watch that Impossible Halls video I put up? The... The one with Seb. I thought I did. Because <laughs> that was a while back. Not really, it was like a week ago. Feels like a while back because he had a video coming out like every single day for the last week and a half. Well, I've had a video coming out every single day for the last month. <laughs> really? I yeah. can't pull that off. I, lasted a... I think I lasted two weeks before I just... One, didn't have the time, and two, just could not deal with the editing. Well, see, that's why I don't really edit them much. Because one, it gives me more videos, and two, it makes it so they can go up quicker. Yeah, right now I'm focusing on just getting myself out there as much as possible. Understandably. I'll slow down a little bit once I either hit 100 videos or get 10 subscribers, which I will come first. <laughs> Whichever comes first. <laughs> I'm 60 miles out from Holbrook. 10 4. I never set my GPS, so I don't know exactly how far out I am. But I know I'm going the right way, I just don't know how far away I am. <laughs> right. At least, unless they added a new road that I never knew about. Again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I knew about all the new roads. It was you who did. Yes, because I'd never been in that area before. <laughs> I I still I still kick myself for that because I even went okay. I need to turn left here, and didn't even think about it. I'm it just did. like okay, I'm on the right road. I got a light load. Let's put the hammer down and let's beat this son of a gun. Uh, are you going to proper Holbrook or the rail yard? Uh, I'm going to the rail export. Okay, good because there's a car on my ass. I don't really feel like changing lanes if I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. The uh, guy that I passed with a Rocky Mountain Double is still 
uh, holding pretty strong behind me. Mm. Not, he's not right on top of me, but he's okay, good. he's he's right back there where you usually Ouch. are. So I'm actually gonna have to indicate and whatnot so that I don't end up uh, having this guy run run up my back. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't too close to this car, but he was doing like 60. I passed him doing 100, and he sped up to max. He's not like acting aggressive or anything. He's just kind of hanging there behind me. Oh Christ! Oh Christ! I've been playing too much Horizon. <laughs> Get used to the physics. No, I I forgot my braking distance. Uh, well, that's sort of getting used to physics. Oh no, wait, because you have your brakes all the way down. I I did turn them up a little bit. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, you have your brakes almost all the way down. Speaking of, um, if you do remember anything from that Impossible Hulk video, I legitimately had my brakes all the way down, and it was still the most sensitive brake I've ever had. I think one of my other mods was causing that. I was gonna say because my brakes all the way down with. 118,000 pounds behind me is not an easy run. Yeah, I mean, and that was with, you know, six fully loaded trailers, so. Yeah, I don't know what that guy's doing. He stopped because I was kind of overshot that exit, but I don't know what he's doing. He just started sitting here. Not really giving a shit. <laughs> I should probably lay off the cussing a little bit. Probably. Yeah... Oh, hey, I see you. Yeah, I... That's why I was telling you what that guy was doing, because I was watching you staying behind him. I wasn't really watching my map, I was making sure I didn't run into the back hole, so... Gotcha. Okay, brakes aren't good enough. Do I have my braking intensity turned down myself? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. That, that did not stop. It, or either it didn't stop no, as quickly. It, it, I might I have been. You, it's possible it I was going faster than I thought I was, but I'm gonna have to check my brake sensitivity anyway. You are not stopping whatsoever. I, I was not. not. I thought you said you were in a Kenworth. We No, I said I just used a Peterbilt, because the Kenworth doesn't have a flat top. Uh, Which still annoys okay. me, by the way. Yeah, I know, right? Mm, like, I mean, it wouldn't have a proper flat top, but they could have at least done a mid-roof. I know, because Ken Kennys look good with a flat top. But then again, they don't have any of the real, like, older Kennys, which look Well, that's really what I was saying. It wouldn't have had a proper flat top, but they could have at least done a mid-roof. Okay, I definitely did turn this in hard enough to get this. But yeah, honestly, right. I I don't like the way the newer Kenworths look at all unless they have the stainless steel. I think that the cab sloping the way it does looks stupid. Especially with There's the day cabs. Go. Yes, come on. Come on, get it in there. Come on. Ah, oh, just missed it. <laughs> just missed it. I just got the ding. Give me the ding. <laughs> Neutral, parking brake off, and decouple. Man, when... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, when the trailer is in the spot before you think it is, because, like, on my legit profile, I have a mod that gets rid of the little thing on the ground. All right. Uh, so when the trailer gets to the spot before you think it's going to, that ding can actually startle you. I can imagine. Ooh. That would actually be a cool place to go up to, because I can see if I can get a double. What cool place is that? Uh, Elko. You mean a... Well, I mean... It... But when I say double, I mean like a proper double. Like a smoky. That's not a proper double. A proper double is two of the same length trailer. <laughs> because then... When I say it's... proper double, I mean something closer to something that's a little bit more fun. Well, yes, but that's not a proper double, because double means twice as much as a single. Shut up and find something to Elko. <laughs> I will explain... <laughs> I will do all of the explanations. No. <laughs> no. I, no I explanations. <laughs> I have nothing to Elko. <laughs> do you have anything to Nevada in general? Not really. What do you have? Um, my closest thing to where you want to go is, um, actually, 
nothing really. <laughs> do, you I, have, do you just have nothing in Nevada in general, or? I have one load going to Nevada, and it's going to Carson City, the completely wrong direction. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Ooh, I, I have one going to Prim too. But... <laughs> Actually, well, yeah, that doesn't work either. I'll tell you what. I have two doubles going over to Truckee. If you took your Carson City, I could just bounce over to Truckee, and then we can bounce back into Nevada. The other thing I was thinking, because the one going to Carson City is the crawler tractor. I don't know if we're calling that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I could, if I take my Prim one, you can just follow me to Prim, and then I'll see what I have in Prim in Vegas, and then I might be able to get one going north. Sounds good to me. All right. So you can take your Elko. Oh, um, also I'm gonna have to stop in uh, Flagstaff and get myself fixed. That's fine. I expected as much. How's my retarder activated? Wow, this Kenworth is very in the way. Oh, did you ever get a chance to look up, uh, AJ Lewis? No, I didn't. I haven't alt tabbed yet. Alright. Um... Then, what I'm gonna say, because I also need to go to the bathroom, I just drink a lot of water. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go down to Sholo to get my load. Okay. So, if you wanna come meet me in Sholo, I'll go to the bathroom and do all that. Okay. And then we can just roll from there. No, not that. What gear am I trying to go into? I don't actually know. There we go. Oh, did I lose 18th gear? Is that what happened? That might be what happened. <laughs> I knew that was the gear I was trying weird. to go into. That's gotta be weird, having that gear on the shifter but not being able to go into it in-game. Oh That's man, gotta you, be really weird. You should see me first jumping back into ETS2 after playing ATS for a while. The frickin' 12 oh, speeds. Oh, trying to go into 18th? Trying to go into even 16th. Because I actually have a 14th speed in all my trucks, so... Right. But yeah, that's why constantly when I'm playing ETS2 I'll say, I don't have a gear on this. Because I'm trying to go I from... Have, I don't have a gear there. Yeah, I'm trying to go from position 4 to position 5. Hey, you don't it's have like, a gear. Yeah, there's no gear over there. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, why am I not going yet? Oh, there's no gear over there. Because the thing is, I use the 18 speed gear pattern. Right. Yep, I lost 18. And then, if I've gotten used to driving uh, either of our heavy haul trucks with the 20 speeds, and then I try to go back to an 18, I keep trying to shift over into this 2, because I'm used to having the extra gears there. Right. Because the gear pattern is like a 10 speed. It's just right. 10 on the bottom level and 10 on the top level. Right. Okay, that should be perfect. Slide me right on in there and lock me up. That's what he said. That is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just said that. You did, you're right. Very astute observation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I don't usually make that sort of joke. What's wrong with me today? I don't know. What is wrong with you today? I, I think I'm just in a very good mood because this is literally the first time we played in over a week. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so let me, because this is going to keep trying to take me up to Elko right now. I need to... Oh yeah, I don't have a pause on my freaking controller for this game. Neither do I. <laughs> well, no, I just literally tried to pause like I was pausing wow. in uh, Horizon. And I was just like, oh yeah, I don't have a pause in this game. That is the nice thing about having the wheel is, which, I mean, this wouldn't help me with Horizon, but right. with any game that I play a controller with, I don't end up hitting controller buttons on my wheel because it's two completely separate controllers. Right. But yeah, back when I didn't have my wheel, I definitely did that a lot. I would try to pause an ATS if I would play GTA 5 a lot. Right. And I've been playing Just Cause 3 a lot. I would definitely be doing that if I still use my controller for this game. Right. In fact, even I, in Just Cause 3, I keep trying to freaking use the back button to change views, and it goes into the map. Uh, I learned, played, and beat Just Cause 3 without using my controller. I was proud of myself. Oh, you did it on keyboard? I did it on keyboard. Uh. 
it actually isn't as bad as you think. It just takes some learning. But I mean, uh, grapples on like right click and then shoots on left click, it actually works really well. I'm sure it sounds like it does, but it's it's much more enjoyable than the I hate using keyboards in video games. Well, no, I know. I I played Just Cause 2 on my PS3, so I same did that entire... well Xbox 360, but other than that, same. Yeah. Yeah, so I played the entire game on controller, then bought it for my laptop because I was like, oh, I'll have Just Cause 2 on this, and then I won't have to annoy people by playing the PS3 in the living room because... And you can also have mods. Yeah, and I can also have mods. And I was like, oh, this is a great idea. And I think it was on sale for like eight bucks. I couldn't, I really couldn't turn it down. It probably, because I got Just Cause 3 with all the DLCs for 11 or 12. Yeah, yeah, so, I, did the exact same, I did the exact same thing. But with two. Yeah. No, I did the exact same thing with both of them. Oh, okay. Because I bought all the DLC. That's probably why I blew through the game so quick, because I just used, like, the uh, Eden Spark, that lightning weapon, and just decimated all the bases. Oh, it was so much fun. I'm actually staying away from the Eden stuff right now, because my computer yeah, doesn't... It, it, well, no, because I have a good reason. My computer doesn't run the game very well. Uh, like, right. I'm talking, like, five frames a second on average. Right. And having the Eden airship and all that sort of stuff in it really slows it down. Well, e well, that's a good reason. I'll just put it this way. All the weapons you get from uh, beating the Eden bases basically break the game. I know, because my brother has gotten break. some of, uh, you know, my brother has some Varian wings too. I know that they're super powerful, but yeah, they just... They basically break the game and make it so easy to beat. Like, I... See, like, the end boss battle is supposed to be some really long, drawn-out thing. I beat it in, like, five minutes because I had the Eden Spark. I just kept using it. See, like, I, I with me, it game. literally breaks the game, as in it causes my game to crash because it's so overpowered. <laughs> right. You know, I just noticed that, and that's really... That is really cool. My truck is, like, completely blacked out when I'm driving at night. Like, you can't see any of the coloring to it. Right. So just... It just looks like a really, really nice gloss black truck, and then all the chrome sticks out. Mm. Oh, that would be scary as heck coming at you on the road. All right, I'm going like to try to park under a light post near the cell goods over here, so you can see my truck in the light and everything if you get here before I get back. Okay. Um, And you can look up 18-wheeler and see what you think of it. Right. It's a pretty good old game. I think it was made in 1999. And get the jake break going, get full brakes going. There we go, that should be enough lights to see by. I'll be right back. Alright, just going through Hallbrook. <laughs> 